I'm gonna choose happiness. I'm gonna sleep. Hello guys, I'm enjoying this video over here because as you can tell we are doing 24 hour and we're okay. <laughs> Hello guys, welcome to another 24 hour readathon, except this readathon is a lot different because I am just going to be reading Christmas books for 24 hours. I guarantee you some of you probably saw this coming because I've been talking about buying Christmas books and being like, this is for a video. So I guarantee you I'm not that uh, surprising. Let's talk about the books that are on my radar. I still have them under my tree from when I did my bookstagram post yesterday. First of all, we have Baggage Claim. I'm, okay, I was about to be like, it's a holiday romance. All of these are Christmas books. And then we also have Love Life Farm. We have a holiday romance. Then we have One Last Gift, which honestly, I don't know if I'm going to get to this one in today's video. Then we have All I Want for Christmas by Maggie Knox. We have Just Like Magic by Sarah Hogle. Then we have In Holidays by Christina Lauren. There's Something About Mary. Then we have A Very Merry Bromance. And the very last book that I have is Tis the Season for Revenge. So those are the books that are on my radar. Here's what I think I'm going to do. I'm actually so excited because I want to feel really Christmassy and I haven't been feeling like extremely Christmassy yet and I want to feel. I want to feel it. I'm hoping that these kind of like get me in the mood. What I'm hoping doesn't happen is that I start to grow tired of them because like they're all around Christmas and they kind of feel the same. The very first book that I'm going to read is going to be Baggage Claim because this is just the one that I am the most excited to read. It is 9.35 and we are about to start. We started, let's start with Baggage Claim. Super excited. I have a candle going, moody lights on, I'm right by my Christmas tree. I'm going to try to chug this <laughs> so that way I can start to wake up a little bit. These take a little bit to kick in. Also, I have been filming all day, editing all day, and now we're going to be doing this for the next 24 hours, so. Cheers. Clink. Let's do this. Let's go. like way more than an hour. I am on page 82, chapter 12 of this book. And I have to say that I am absolutely loving this book. Loving it so much. Also, Charlie's just having a grand old time having the bed all to herself. But I'm loving this book so, so much. I love the guy. I love the girl. Also, there's like different things going on. The guy is literally like golden retriever energy. It's kind of like grumpy sunshine, but reverse grumpy sunshine. She is like the grumpy one and he's like really out there. And he is all for like, you know, the fake dating thing. And she's like the one that's like... <sighs> you know and also this does take place like during christmas and kind of surrounds christmas his nickname for her is grinchy which i think is so cute but it's not like overwhelmingly christmas so it feels like you're reading a romance that just kind of like takes place during the christmas time which i understand is like what all christmas romances are but you know i feel like they focus on christmas more than this one does and i'm really 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 loving this so far so our check-in on page 82 chapter 12 and then having a great day
07. It's been two hours and 32 minutes and 33 seconds. I just finished baggage claim and I, oh my gosh, I loved it. This, why am I smiling like this? I'm definitely rating this a 4.25. It takes place in Aspen, Colorado, and I don't know why I just love that vibe because I literally have been telling my family for like years. I really, I was like, oh my god, I kind of want to go to Colorado for Christmas. Like the little like ski resort and stuff that like takes place in this because the guy works at a ski resort and it is just like the most cute. The guy was so cute and he was like taking her on all these like 12 dates of Christmas. It had a lot to do with Christmas because like I said, he was doing the whole like 12 dates of Christmas because the guy really loved Christmas and he was like trying to get the girl to, you know, whatever. It was just so freaking cute and I love the way that this book played out. Also, there were like different little subplots of drama and I was like, I mean, I knew what it was like as soon as it was even introduced. Like I knew, but still I liked to see how like that unraveled. Actually, so happy that I read this. Like it was so, so cute. It was so good. Like you guys need to go pick this up. I, let me see if it's on Kindle Unlimited. Yes, it is a Kindle Unlimited book. So if you guys have Kindle Unlimited, Go read it or go buy the book. I would definitely recommend you buy it. But if you have Kindle Unlimited, you can read it. Oh my god, it feels like so much longer. It is literally only 12.10. And I feel like it should be 3 o'clock in the morning. Honestly, was this the best time to do this challenge? No. Do you want to know why? Because this whole entire day, I felt like it was supposed to be hours later. Like, it was 11 a.m. and I felt like it was like 4. But we're in it. <laughs> so, the next book that I'm reading is going to be Love Light Farms. This is another book that I'm very excited about because this is like a best friends to lovers scenario and I love that. Two hours and 36 minutes in we're starting the second book also. This is also on Kindle Unlimited by the way. I wanted to get a lot of Christmas books that were on Kindle Unlimited for you guys that way like if you guys wanted to read it during the holidays like you don't necessarily have to buy a bunch of Christmas books you know what I'm saying like if you already have Kindle Unlimited you can just like do that. After you my lady. You know what? I mean, it's not that big of a deal. Literally, I just like use the stopwatch to like see what hour I'm on. I'm gonna choose happiness and to not freak out over that. Because if I do, I'm gonna lose it. It's 4.20 a.m. right now. <sighs> so, it took me like three hours to read. I'm like so off whatever now that that just happened. Like it doesn't matter. But it does. Okay, I'm gonna choose happiness. Anyway, I just finished Love Light Farms and this was also a 4.25 stars. These two books have been really great, which is awesome because my last 24 hour readathon that I did, I was like, yeah, I'm not loving these books. And I just kind of have been in a slump lately. It's kind of like in a reading way. But I think it's just because like none of the books that I've been reading have like really been books that I really, really enjoyed. So it's kind of where I'm discouraged to pick up a book because I haven't really been liking anything. But this one, 4.25 stars, I don't know. I feel like Baggage Claim and this are kind of like even with I really, really liked it. I feel like I just knew like the books that I would like the most out of these. And I'm kind of scared that the rest of these won't compare. So I love me a good friends to lovers, childhood friends to lovers, friends to lovers, best friends to lovers, anything. Give me anything. And I love it. The setting of the Christmas tree farm and like the really small town, all the characters that you get introduced to. Because I'm pretty sure this is the first book in the Love Light series and I just really liked it. The premise of this book is that she like applies for this competition to like get this try to win this money to help her business and so she like recruits her best friend to be her fake boyfriend because she said she has a boyfriend that she started the business with. That actual like competition I thought was going to be like 
more of like a central plot point of the story and it wasn't and usually that would like annoy me because i'm like okay i thought this is what the book was about but i loved uh, how this book focused more just on them and their connection because this is like they've been best friends for like a decade and they're like older i think they were like in their 30s like in this book in their really early 30s i really really enjoy just kind of getting more of them in the backdrop of the business seeing more of a relationship and let me tell you guys that this book zero miscommunication well i i mean there's always like a tiny bit of miscommunication in romance books because i don't know why but they just feel the need but the guy in this book oh my god it it was so refreshing to actually read it was so refreshing to actually read not only just a character that communicates but a guy that literally communicates even when the girl would try to kind of like steer the conversation and he would be like no we're going to communicate about this there's nothing better than that. I had an amazing time reading this. 4.25 stars. Another book that I would really recommend you guys to read. For favor, please. Also, I know that I just said that. Dumb. It's like a stupid joke that I have by saying it. Whatever. Okay. So, I think the next book that I'm going to read is All I Want for Christmas by Maggie Knox. An utterly adorable pitch perfect romance. Taylor Jenkins read. What other? Oh, I read her book last year for Christmas. I did a reading vlog on that. Don't watch it because I was incredibly sick last year during Christmas. Like, no voice, no nothing. I literally have no voice. I don't even know why I uploaded that. But she was, she's the author of The Holiday Swap, which I saw going around literally everywhere last december about like the twins in a small town yeah it's like every single hallmark movie ever made and so i'm excited for this one <sighs> this is when i feel like like when i did my last one I feel like this is what happened to me where I was like fine and I was getting over the hump of the night because I've said that the night is like the hardest for me. Like staying up all night is very difficult for me. I'm a very, I, I value sleep and I like to sleep when I'm tired. Oh my god, my, I literally feel like I'm gonna throw up. But this happened to me last time too where like once like 5 a.m. hit, the energy drink started wearing off and since it's dark outside then i'm like conditioning myself to feel like it's nighttime also this this just felt like forever we're seven hours into this right now it has felt like 12. hopefully we came on with the positive theme that we have for this video which is very refreshing <laughs> just finished All I Want for Christmas by Maggie Knox. This was a two and a half stars. I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. Okay, I just feel like so picky for writing this to two and a half stars because I know these books are just supposed to be like fun, easy, cute reads, which yes, but I rated this a two and a half because I felt absolutely zero chemistry between the characters. Like, I didn't even believe that they would be love interests. One thing I'm not going to critique these books for is how fast the couple falls for each other because literally the books take place during Christmas time. Like, obviously you're gonna get that except love light farms they had like have a history i'm not gonna critique these books for that even though i want to because does it rub me the wrong way yes but that is i mean destiny at some point you gotta pick and choose your battles you know i don't know what it is actually i do know what it is because when i drink energy drinks they make me feel nauseous and they never make me feel good and i'm i'm feeling that right now i do not feel good at all i literally feel like i could throw up nine hours into this challenge right now i'm kind of getting a little scared because i am basically making it through all of the books that i was like really excited to read we were we were starting off really strong both 4.25 stars which is such an annoying rating i don't know i'm trying to think about how the rest of this day is going to go actually hold on hold on i'm going to make some toast because i literally have to try to I just 
ate my toast. I feel a little bit better, but not much. Not much better. Charlie went outside. She is so shaggy right now, but she's going to the groomer Thursday on the 8th, and she's gonna get completely shaved. Completely shaved. My next read is going to be Tis the Season for Revenge. I'm choosing this because it's a shorter one, mostly because this is a Kindle Unlimited book. So when I'm at the gym and I'm gonna be on the treadmill, I can read while I'm at the gym when I go to the gym. So I'm gonna start this one at home and then go to the gym and read this while I'm at the gym. Guess what time it is? 11.38. In that time, in the few hours that I haven't spoke to the camera, also sorry, but oh, this tripod. I just finished Tis the Season for Revenge, four books done. It's 11 a.m. I did go to the gym, but then I came home because I literally haven't been feeling so dizzy and nauseous. Like, just like, I feel like crap. But anyway, I don't know what it is of why I'm feeling that way, but we persevered, we got through. I finished this. I also uploaded Vlogmas Day 3. Gotta love that. Hopefully you guys are enjoying Vlogmas so far. This is Season for Revenge. I'm rating this a three and a half stars. I feel like this book is so fun. I really liked it. I thought it was cute. I really loved the guy in it. It dealt with a lot more things other than just like a fun Christmas romance. I just had such a good time reading this. I would definitely recommend you guys to pick this up and read it if you haven't. Between in a holidays or a very merry bromance i don't know Ooh. but this one talks about romance books and guys reading romance books i'm going to pick up a very merry bromance and then i'm going to go into uh in a holidays we are going to start a very merry bromance <laughs> Let's talk. I forget the last clip. I think I was reading in my chair. I fell asleep and then the challenge was over. I don't know if I prefaced it or not that this was going to be different than the ones I did because this video I was testing out kind of a style where it was just like I'm taking a 24 hour time period and kind of seeing how many books I'm reading in that 24 hour time period. And I was going to take breaks, I was gonna do that, but I like still wanted to stay up to just kind of like make it like a fun little challenge. Yeah, so I didn't finish A Very Merry Romance, but I'm still going to do another reading vlog for the rest of those books. It's just not gonna be a 24 hour readathon, I'm just gonna do a cute little Christmas Eve reading vlog for those. For a little wrap up for today's video, we read four books refresher course baggage claim this was a 4.25 stars and also please read love like farms this was also a 4.25 stars i want for christmas two and a half and then we have tis the season for revenge i give this a three stars because i think that this book is so fun i liked the guy and i thought the premise was fun there was drama i thought it was just a nice little fun read those are the four books i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you guys did you guys know what to do like comment subscribe all the youtube stuff that you guys know how to do and i will see you guys when I see ya. Uh...